Okay, we're recording. Hello. So, I'm gonna make a poster. I'm gonna make a poster showing the three different types of communities. To do that, I'm gonna split my paper into three parts. So I have to do a little folding here. This is, um, I don't know if you remember from before, but to fold into threes, I kind of make like this burrito shape like this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then you squish it down. Let's try your best. There we go, not perfect, but good enough. And then when you open it up, three parts, and I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay, our first community type of community. I'm going to start with the one that was first in the video. What was that community called? Darren. Did you forget? Urban. Urban, that's right. So I'm gonna write it over here in the corner. Urban. I'm gonna use this type of A. Mm. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little thicker to make it stand out. Urban. You don't have to do your A like that if it's too difficult. I just like it to be a little different because this is kind of like my title and I want it to stand out. Okay, urban communities. Oops. Make a little box to separate it. It is off center, but I did that on purpose. Okay, an urban community is a community. where the buildings this is a list so comma buildings stores cars and people are located closely together. And remember, this is kind of like um, art for art kit, art, 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 art hub for kids. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause, pause the video. video. <laughs> so you might not be able to write that fast so you can pause it and then catch up. Okay, I'm gonna write down some examples. These are ones that I was telling you earlier as we were watching the video. So we have, New York, that's an urban community for sure. Another one that's closer to us, San Francisco. Even closer to us would be San Jose. San Jose is considered an urban community, yes. If you've ever been to downtown San Jose, you would definitely, could definitely tell there's a oh, yeah. lot of buildings. Oh, yeah. Wait, what about Lastly, my other example is Los Angeles. I like Los Angeles. That's just the one I'm going to write down. Okay, I'm going to draw a quick little picture of what this community would look like. Well, it has a whole bunch of buildings. So I'm just going to draw buildings all really closely together. This will be part of it. Yep. It's just simple. This is just a simple drawing. Yeah, I'm running. I don't have enough space. So that's good. And then um, they have like little windows. Wait. Yeah, could be. Whatever you want to do. I don't want to take too long on this, but mostly buildings like this will actually almost all buildings like this have windows because people are inside and they need some windows to get some natural light. In. And they also need a door because how are they going to get in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And how do they get it out? Why is it so strong? Okay. <laughs> It looks like wow, we have a lot of extra talking. Oh and here, now my urban community section is done. Next, what was the next, um, next one in the video? Kind of like the next level. So urban communities, lots of people, not a lot of space, tall buildings. What's like the middle type of community? Do you remember, Nawal? 
Suburban. Suburban. So I'll scoop my paper up. I'm in the middle section now, and I'm going to do my title over here on the side again. Isn't that like a car? So, yes, that's a type of car too. A suburban step car. Suburb. Oh, yeah. What? You can't Okay, and I'm going to make it thick because it's a title. <laughs> what? <laughs> Urban. When that looks like you're doing it like 3D. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Okay. And I'll make a little box around it to separate it from the rest of my words. Okay. So a suburban community is a community near a big city. It is a mixture, mixture of buildings located close together and a little bit of farmland. An example of this, of a suburban community, is our very own home, Morgan Hill. Gilroy is also, I would consider that a suburban community as well. It's a little bit rural, but it is mostly suburban, kind of like Morgan Hill as well. That's why I included in the definition that um, a suburban community does have a little bit of farmland because in some parts of Morgan Hill, there's a, there's houses with lots of land. But in other parts of Morgan Hill, we have houses that are a little bit closer together. And then we also have apartments. Let me draw my picture. While I'm drawing my picture, um, yes, Kyle. Um, is it, um, you're right, the whole onions? Is that yeah. Garlic. Garlic. Jace is doing a great job over there. Shout out to Jace. Okay. I'm drawing some houses now because in a suburban community you would find some houses here. This one, this one's gonna have double doors. Window here. At least you don't have a jump in the window. <laughs> and there's a tree. Okay, there's my suburban picture. And lastly, what was the last type of community that we learned about in which the population is very little and the land is, he? is a lot? What was it called, Jason? Rural. Rural. Good job. Okay, how am I going to do this? Gotta like scoop this up a little bit, so I'm gonna fold. Okay, let's scoot it up. There we go. R U R A L. Okay, I'm gonna thicken the letters a little bit. Nice. Okay, let's box it up. All right. A rural community is a community where each house is surrounded by large sections of land for farming. For farming or ranching where people take care of animals, like a herd of animals. And an example of this that's close to us is the city of San Martin. San Martin. Oh, my cousin lives in San Martin. Yeah, you, you've probably heard of San Martin. It's very close to us. Is it a 
Um, San Martin Gwyn is a school, but I'm talking about the city of San Martin. It's a rural community. So for this picture, okay. For this picture, I'm going to draw like a little um, barn. I know, because this time it's going to go into the writing. It looks 3D. It really does. This is my barn. And then here's like a little pathway. Thank you. And then I'm going to draw some trees. This tree is like going behind the house. Dead trees. Okay. Oh, here, here's the back of the lane. Maybe, maybe yeah, we should add animals. animals. Yeah, should I add animals. am going to add animals. Hold on, I'm just finishing up my trees. I want one more tree right here in the background. Yeah, you like trees. trees are, yeah, I like trees. Okay, now I'm going to draw a little piggy. Because piggies live on farms. <laughs> there he is, little piggy. I appreciate my role models. Wow, that's all right. Scouts, are you taking note? Who you would like to act, to uh, recognize? Okay, then I, over here, back here, I'm gonna draw a little cow. Moo. And he has this like long. Oh, I can't forget the spots. There's my little cow. I like it. Okay, and now I am all done. I like Mr. Cow. Let's stop the video. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. bye. bye.